Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. Hey, in this video I wanted to make some predictions about what will happen with Destiny 2 in the months after the March update. So the real question is whether or not Destiny 2 will be revitalized and see a growth in the player base again. Will it thrive after March 27th? So the first thing that we have to consider is just how jaded the community became. So many people still come into my videos and streams and they make the classic, people still play this dead trash game? They still make those comments like, like there's some sort of higher form of gamer who seeks out content that they don't like just to shame those who still enjoy something. But while those people are honestly pretty dumb and they may be outliers, there, there are a lot of people who feel totally separated from Destiny now. People who uh, had invested hundreds or even thousands of hours into D1. And they're totally justified too. I mean, I cannot blame any player who has already moved on and uh, has no intentions of returning to the franchise, regardless of how good this update ends up being. Uh, they're, they're just jaded, or they feel slightly they, they feel slighted uh, by the game, and, and they won't return, just on principle. Uh, then there's another category of gamer, one, uh, who, one who was maybe once loyal to Destiny, but has since they, they've moved on, and they won't come back, not because they hate the game, but simply because it's too little too late. They've already moved on to other games, other titles, other gaming communities, uh, while Destiny 2 has been down. And now, they're invested in those other games, they're invested in those communities, and they're committed to something else now. And they're not going to walk away from those games and those communities to come back to Destiny 2, just because they're caught up in something else right now. They've got new friends, they've got new streamers they like, they've got new communities they belong to, they've got new weapons and gear and aesthetics that they're grinding for on, on other games right now. And because of that, they're not going to come back to Destiny 2 regardless of how good it is after March 27th. So, on top of that, people in all of those categories, they exist in great numbers within the communities of various streamers who once played Destiny as their main game. So, those streamers, for example, say, I don't know, Luminosity, Grenade or Jake, Triple Wreck, they may fire up a stream on March 27th. And regardless of how good the update might be, there will be people in chat saying, I thought you moved on. Uh, we don't want to see D2 or... Uh, this game is trash and will always be trash. Uh, stream Fortnite, right? And and streamers may struggle to find the motivation to play this game after March 27th, purely based on the feedback of their communities. So that's what we have to consider going in uh, to March 27th and the new uh, sandbox update. There will be negativity and there will be people who don't come back at all, regardless of how good the update might be. But I think that... Um, I think that the game will start to see the slow growth of a new community. New talented players will rise, new clans will become known, new content creators will rise in the directory. It's going to be something small that grows into something larger. And all of this is predicated by the update being good though. If it's not, if the game plays the same, um, that may very well be the nail in the coffin for Destiny 2. But if the update is solid, and I think it will be, uh, just because of what's on the line here for the developers, if it's solid, then this will be the start of a small seed, a small seed community growing into something much larger. Now, that, that being said, if you are a smaller content creator or a smaller streamer, then this may be an opportunity to launch serious growth for your brand. You could enter into an environment where the big fish, they've already moved on to other ponds. And you have the chance to gain notoriety and to show what you can do and to show what kind of a community you can rally behind your content. Games thrive on the common gamer, not the big streamers. Big content creators, they help add character to the game, uh, but the, really they serve as rally points for gamers. The common gamer who works 9 to 5 or is in school, then gets home or whatever, and they've got time to play a little bit. Those, those are the people that keep games alive. And that's the type of person that's going to keep Destiny 2 relevant. And that's also the type of person who's going to want a new streamer or a YouTuber to watch while they can't play. And you could offer that. D2 is about to be the ideal environment for cultivating a new community. And I'm anxious to see who pops up in the directory, who pops up in the community. 
I'm excited to see new faces on Twitch and on YouTube. I'm excited to see uh, common gamers rallying to forums, to streams, to channels uh, on YouTube, buzzing about how much fun they're having in Destiny 2. I'm excited for that. And I think that March 27th is going to be the catalyst for that growth. And if it's not, if the update is terabad, then I'll eat my words and move on. But I think, considering what's on the line for the devs, this is going to shake up the game dramatically. And I'm excited to continue making content for the common gamer, who wants to improve their skill, who wants information about specific items, weapons, and armor in Destiny 2. I'm excited to continue that grind personally on my channel. Uh, you know that I've never disengaged from Destiny 2. I've moved on, I've played other titles, but Destiny 2 is still in the rotation. Why? Because I still have fun. And you can see it in some of the gameplay here. I still have big plays, fun moments, and chat still enjoys it. Uh, I've got a community that's rallied behind uh, our content. They've rallied behind Destiny 2 and Fortnite are really the two things that we stream right now. And, um, you know, we've, we've kept that dream alive. And uh, I'm excited to see the development of Destiny 2 go in a, a new direction. I'm excited to see a Crucible that caters more towards, um, you know, fast place, exciting gameplay. That's what I really want. And uh, I really am pumped to, um, to get into that environment again. So here's to the future, y'all. I really hope that, um, that things are going to be dramatically different March 27th. These are some of my predictions. Let me know in the comment section what you think. What are your predictions? How do you feel about the future of Destiny 2? Do you feel much like the same, or do you feel like it's going to flop? Do you think it's going to be great? Somewhere in between? Uh, let me know. I, I am genuinely interested. So uh, just remember to be respectful of everyone else in, in the comment section. Please be nice to each other. Uh, be decent, folks. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the crucible. Kobe. Okay, never mind. I'm done. <laughs> no, Crest. I'm going for it. Remember me. Remember me. <laughs> YOLO. I got your crest. <laughs>